leader of the free world. The 2016 election is finally starting to take shape. Unfortunately, that shape is kind of lumpy. <laughs> this is the road to the White House. Knock the crap out of him, would you? On Tuesday night, Ted Cruz scored a huge win in the Wisconsin primary, which has given him plenty of reason to... I'm gonna say smile? <laughs> but... Not sure. But his ted Mentum might be short-lived because the campaign has moved to New York, where Cruz has gotten in trouble for criticizing New York values. So here's how Cruz was greeted by this morning's New York Daily News... Take the F train, Ted. <laughs> now, for you non New Yorkers, the F train is a prominent line here in the city. <laughs> we frequently tell out of towners to take it. Of course, it only has one stop, and it's your mother's house. <laughs> But even if New Yorkers aren't rallying behind Ted Cruz, he's still racking up endorsements right and further right. <laughs> Yesterday, Idaho Senator and inappropriately chipper funeral director Jim Risch <laughs> was asked who he supports for president. I know you had endorsed Marco Rubio. That didn't exactly work out. Uh, who are you endorsing now? Well, I, I really haven't endorsed anyone. You're it's, not going to support Donald Trump, is that what you're saying? I'm not going to support him. Well, what about the other two? Well, I'm, I would, uh, obviously, uh, uh, Kasich is uh, so far behind that it's impossible, really, for him to get the numbers. So, by process of elimination, that gets you to uh, Ted Cruz. So, you so want Ted support. Cruz to get the Republican nomination? Well, at this point, there's no choice. Yes. <laughs> yes, at this point, there's no choice. It's that kind of passion that inspired the new campaign slogan, Ted Cruz, abandon all hope. <laughs> but... Well, the important thing is, Senator Risch is all in. So far, you're only, I, I think, by our count, the third senator, Republican senator, who now, effectively on this program, has come out and endorsed uh, Cruz, Lindsey Graham, and Mike Lee, your colleagues, uh, they have. But I haven't seen Did a whole lot of... Did I just endorse? Well, I don't know. I... You sort of said <laughs> you prefer him over the other two. I do. That sounds like an endorsement, doesn't it? Uh, but we, I guess it depends on your definition. Why? <laughs> yeah. It, de it depends on the definition. Endorsement means throwing up in your mouth a little bit, right? <laughs> that endorsement's gonna stay with me for a while. <laughs> so Ted Cruz is piling up delegates and gaining on Donald Trump. We might be on our way to what's called a contested convention. That's when no candidate holds a decisive majority of delegates, so the nominee is chosen through wheeling and dealing, or on rare occasions, a hot buns competition. <laughs> How do you think Nixon got the nomination in 68? <laughs> but, oh, daddy like. Here, here's where it gets super crazy. The GOP could nominate someone who did not even run this year. And believe it or not, there are some people who did not run this year. <laughs> now, some names, some names, good men, some names have already been floated, like Paul Ryan, Mitt Romney and Mitt Romney. <laughs> I know I just said him, but people forget him so quickly. <laughs> now, in an act of desperation, who knows who the GOP will nominate? Could it be Scrooge McDuck? A Ouija board that spells out Ronald Reagan? A bald eagle wearing a pair of pleated khakis? <laughs> 